And you're never going to be confident because you are installing in your mind that you can't do it. Words are very powerful. You know what I'm saying? Words are very freaking powerful. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We back again with another freaking video. A couple days ago, I had asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me a whole bunch of questions that you guys want me to answer, girl talk wise. Not even girl talk wise, just girl talk wise. And if you have not followed me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me. It is in my description link below so you can stay tuned on things I post. If I do ever come across a Q&A or something where I need y'all advice, y'all need to be on that. Okay, on that, on that, on that. And your girl got all the questions right here under my cellular device. And I'm just going to go through these, answer them, and get straight to the point. Because I don't know about y'all, I got a short attention span. And when I click on a video, I want you to get straight to the point. I'm going to do you a favor and get straight to the point. First question is confident boosters. Confident boosters that I recommend is definitely affirmations. Affirmations are basically just speaking things into existence. In one of my videos, um, I think it was the... No, not even think I know. It was the 1K subscriber video where basically I was just celebrating it. And in the video, I had showed you guys the uh, paper I had that was just full of affirmations. And for example, like let's say you think you're ugly. You write on a piece of paper that I am beautiful. You keep repeating that. You believe it. You seek it. You see it. And soon it will start coming into reality. I'm not just speaking. I am a witness because I, for example, in that video, I talked about how I always used to talk about I have a thousand subscribers. I have like every time I woke up, every time I'm going to go to sleep or even out of nowhere, I'm reading it. And y'all, I'm at 5k subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And also too, that comes with God. Like speak life into yourself at the end of the day because if you think about it we are spirits we're spirits and flesh world also to social media social media plays a big part in people's insecurities if you are a girl that doesn't have that much secure with herself i advise you to take a break off social media i took a six month break off social media one time and i feel like that brought me to life okay um i say take a break from it just fall back from it and start working on yourself because when you see when you're a girl that's not confident and i'm speaking like this because i used to be one of them girls um and you're seeing all these pretty girls you start questioning yourself you know what i'm saying you start being like well am i that pretty and blah, blah, blah. no fall back from that delete that you know what i'm saying you ain't got to do the pose i'm going ghost and blah, blah. you ain't got to do all that just leave you know what i'm saying and go fall into yourself go fall into your destiny um if you are a girl that wears makeup lashes wigs and stuff and you're insecure i would say fall back from that too i would say like start just wearing your bare face and just embracing your natural self so you can be comfortable in your natural state because like um i'm actually recording two videos today in the vlog like you see me going back and forth if i wanted if back and forth if i wanted to put makeup on because now like when i put on makeup it's like i'm just putting it on like i don't really care for makeup anymore i used to always like i used to feel like i always needed makeup like anywhere i go i need makeup like any time of the day i need to put on makeup stop comparing yourself like everybody is different everybody looks different if god wanted everybody to be the same that's what he would have done but he didn't he made people to look different so you can embrace your natural beauty because i don't know about y'all but i know you the girl watching this you right here i'm staring in your eyes i'm staring at you you're a beautiful girl even if you're confident and blah, 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 i'm telling you right now you're beautiful start speaking to yourself you know what i'm saying start showing yourself love we are like plants plants need water plants need sun plants need life your body needs life you know what i'm saying so be kind to your body tell your body you are that girl things that you're insecure about start saying you love that about yourself you know what i'm saying let's say i'm insecure about my nose i love my nose or my eyes i love my eyes i love my forehead i love my chin i love my cheeks i love my long neck you know what i'm saying so make sure <laughs> make sure you are loving yourself correctly and showing her the most love because that's another thing too when us females that are not confident and don't love ourselves when we find these dudes and they try to caress us and try to approach us by complimenting we're gonna fall for his words because we're not in tune with ourselves that's how we always fall off with these dudes that's why you need to build your backbone baby love yourself because there's someone out there wishing they were you and nobody's gonna come to you and be like i wish i was you they're always gonna be in the back in the head like dang i wish i had that i wish i looked like that like be comfortable in your skin bro like 
real spill another question is different ways to battle or help fight depression god any person that talked to me i'm going to mention god i'm going to mention jesus i'm i'm sorry people you know what i'm saying when it comes to god they'll pray and be like yeah like i pray but you know god don't work like you know what i'm saying you are not putting let me tell you let me tell y'all something when it comes to god it's not just god like nowadays people like are trying not you know what i'm saying not everybody but some people like try to make god you know small god is big god is like big y'all big like he made the sun he split the red sea like he's big if y'all can believe this devilish stuff i'm telling you there's a god too there's a god to pull you out of any situation you are in and you're probably questioning like if god's real why am i going through this hurt why am i insecure why 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 one thing about it two things for sure um the world is in the devil has the world this is deep y'all i don't want to get too deep i know y'all know i'm a, i'm a talker but um the devil the world runs in the devil's hands but even though it runs in his hands he also has to ask permission from the Lord. He has to be like, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? You know what I'm saying? He has to allow that. But when you're going through things too, God will also let you go through the things so you can go through all this and you would have no choice but to turn to him. God will apply maximum a maximum pressure on you so you can open up your eyes and be like, Lord, help me. Because at the end of the day, you can do so much bad stuff. God's still going to be right there waiting for you to turn to him because he's our father. He's He's the one that dearly loves us. He doesn't want you to call yourself ugly. He doesn't want you to sit there depressed. But you will if you're not seeking the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, seek yourself. I, me... What helped me find myself and know that I'm beautiful, I, I started building a relationship with the Lord. Um, I just started praying all the time. I started looking up, you know, scriptures, writing the scriptures down. And then I ended up getting the Bible and I'm just reading the Bible. And I'm not Christian. I'm not religious or none of that. I am spiritual. And um, the son is the Lord. Like, I'm really tapped in with that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, if anybody asks me, how do you do this? How did you do that, God? God, when you're sitting in your room depressed, look at the situation you're in and be like, how am I going to move? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to shut your mind up for a second um, and really ask yourself, what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Because some people will be like, I can't do it or I've been depressed for years. It's not going to happen. I don't care. You have that negative mindset. You're never going to grow. You're never going to see a higher version of yourself. You're never going to be happy. You're never going to be confident because you are installing in your mind that you can't do it. Words are very powerful. You know what I'm saying? Words are very freaking powerful. That's why they say affirmations are real because you're speaking you're, look, y'all, I can, I can, look, 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 I can really write a whole chapter book. Anxiety, I would highly recommend deep breaths, like, <sighs> them type of deep breaths. And as you're breathing, just start woo sawing your mind, meditating, meditation type of music, start taking deep breaths and start speaking positive in yourself, like, I am healed, I'm better, I'm happy, I'm loved. You know what I'm saying? Even take a journal and write think, write everything that's hurting you, affecting you, um, you are insecure about and you're angry about. Write all that out, burn it or read it back out loud, cry them tears out and start building yourself back up. You know what I'm saying? You have to break yourself down to build. You know what I'm saying? You can't just build on top of build. You need to break it down. Like when people want to make new buildings, they have to destroy the old building. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to be a higher version of yourself, tap in with the Lord, period. I don't care what nobody has to say. I don't care if they're calling me, oh, she's a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I just know better. You know better, you do better. Fight though. Don't let depression win because a lot of people can let depression win and it will destroy them. If you want better, seek that. Hit the gym. I like running the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? Running off that steam. And I like um, imagining me running to my goals when I'm on there. Like, have that music in. Um, the music you listen to, too. If you're listening to all this rah-rah and, 
you're going to start, your frequency is going to start vibrating off of that. You're going to start feeling like, ooh, let me go kill or let me go have sex with the, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention to what you listen to. Your friends, look, 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 y'all. It get deep. Stay tuned for these videos, y'all, because I'm going to be talking. I need to get a podcast. Next question is, how to weed out fake friends mon monitoring spirits? Let's say you are a female that wants to change their ways. That's the first step. You want to change, okay? So now you got to take the second step. You got to start got to start seeing who is around you that's affecting you. Best friend is an HO. She don't care. She want to do what she want to do. Um, she's want to go to parties all day. Your other friend, mediocre, you know what I'm saying? With a toxic boyfriend. And you just got all this toxic stuff around you. And you know you want to change? You got to cut them all off. Um, me, I'm a, I'm kind of a ghoster when I cut people off. I don't tell people, I'm going to cut you off. Like, okay, nobody cares. <laughs> um, I don't really do that. If I cut somebody off, I just go ghost. You know what I'm saying? You won't hear from me. Um, and if you try to reach out, you will not hear from me. That's what I do. You don't owe people an explanation all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because who are they? And if they come to you and being like, why did you cut me off? You can either tell them I'm changing and I just need to back away for a second. Nothing against you. And if they still don't understand that, don't respond. Everything is not meant to be a response. You know what I'm saying? Forget them. You got to move higher. You got to be a better version of yourself and if them friends of yours is not rooting for you they're not supporting you and they don't want to grow either why are they around if they are not feeding you what you need to be fed leave them it was good while it was good while it lasted sometimes you got to leave people in the past so you can grow i have on my wall over there it says i understand that losing people is a um I understand that losing people is an opportunity to, opportunity to free up space for something new to come in. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to cut off your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to cut off that close cousin of yours because they're not rooting for you. You, If you have to be alone for five years because you have to build yourself, that's what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop your flow for nobody. But if you want to stay mediocre and you want to chill and you want to do what your friends is doing, just stay with the friend group. But if you know you want to change and she's a weirdo and you just don't want that negative energy around you, around you, cut it off. Simple. It's not hard. Cut somebody. I like, um, if you're a person that cares about people's feelings, then you just say you need to subscribe because <laughs> I'm gonna be dropping bangers on top of bangers, baby. All this advice I'm about to give y'all, but sometimes you you not sometimes all the time you need to think of yourself first. How do you feel? You know what I'm saying? Like you can be dating somebody. And this dude can be treating you like trash, but you're staying because you don't want to leave him and you don't want him to be sad. Sometimes you got to let people be how they is. Like, I used to always be like, I don't want to leave because what if they feel like this? And what if they feel like, now I don't care. If you are rubbing me the wrong way, if you're making me feel weird, if you're this and that, I'm leaving. I'm cutting you off and I don't need it to explain nothing to you. I don't care if you think I'm weird. I don't care if you think, oh, she, you know, because when you cut people off and they see you growing, they want to throw, oh, she thinks she's doing something because of this and that. No, it's none of that. It's just, I know where I'm going and where I want to go and I'm growing and you are a hater. I don't got time for none of that. I don't got time. And a monitoring spirit, let me tell y'all how to spot one of them out. Let's say your friends, but all of a sudden, she stopped liking your pictures. She stopped commenting, reposting, texting you, calling you, but she's always watching. That's a hater. And, it, and you don't even, you, you don't gotta have hard feelings towards it because when you have haters, that means you're doing something right. That means you're popping. That means you are doodling. I can't say the cuss word, but you know what I'm saying. You, you are legit. Don't stop being legit for nobody. Be hardcore, raw, cut, and uncut. Y'all, when I, I'm just getting started in this YouTube stuff. Like, I just hit 5K. I'm not even in, like, big numbers yet. But I'm blessed. This is a big number to me. You know what I'm saying? 5,000 freaking people. 5,000 freaking people. That's a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? And before I hit these numbers, I always used to have hundreds of people telling me, you gonna make it. I believe you. When I start hitting them thousands, when I start hitting them views, when I start getting monetized, when I start, you know what I'm saying, loving myself and being confident, loving on God and just being me, hundreds of them people disappear. 
Some people block me because they don't like to see me growing on top. People gonna be like that towards you too. When they see you doing things that you used to talk about, you know what I'm saying? You're finally doing it. Everybody's not gonna be happy for you. And don't be sad that they're not happy for you because that's just a reflection of self. You know what I'm saying? Like they're mad at they self because they can't do what you do. And it's not that they can't, they just don't have the willpower or the mindset to be like, let me get up and go get it. Let me go get up, let me go get up and stack, stack some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, go get it. Don't let nobody stop you. That boyfriend, if you feel like he's low-key distracting you and you feel like that's low-key holding your back, holding you back, send him a little text and be like, babe, I love you, but I gotta go, bro. And you stopping that. You know what I'm saying? And if it's meant to be, he's always gonna come back. It's always y'all always are going to come back and twine because it's meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Anything meant to be is always gonna come to you. No matter what. No matter if you push away five years, it's going to come back because it's meant to be. Sorry, y'all, if I'm talking about a subject and I'm going way further. Y'all know I just be into my conversation. I also got to work on that, too, because I can get lost in the sauce sometimes. <laughs> How do you get the confidence to start YouTube? People's going to mess with me no matter what because if it's meant to be, God will bring people towards me. And look what he's doing, bro. He's bringing people towards me, bringing the views towards me. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't thank him enough you know what i'm saying like amen signs to know if he really likes you or just wants to <laughs> one he's not going to mention sex at all he's never going to mention sex to you because that's not what he's here for two um he's going to want to have deep conversations with you like conversations that's out of the blue you know what i'm saying um when you're picking his brain, he doesn't fight back. He asks his questions genuinely. He makes eye contact with you. He's just always on your bumper. Not sweating you, but like, you know what I'm saying? How was your day? Did you eat? Let me let me get just caring, always caring, you know what I'm saying? Um picking up the little stuff about you. Um, you bring up a question a few weeks later, he remember, you know what I'm saying? He's respectful to you and he really wants to get to know you. And signs that he just wants to He's always complimenting you, period, point blank. Like, dudes can compliment you and not want to, but he's all, you are beautiful and this and that, your body bombing, you know what I'm saying? Fantasizing off your flesh. He's not making eye contact with you when he talks, you know what I'm saying? Dudes that like talk and be like, yeah, but no, no. like doing that, he's lying to you or he just doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? Eye contact is everything. Um, He doesn't, he's not respectful to you. Um. He's not really kind. He's really not asking you deep questions. When you talk to him, he's low-key kind of dry. Um, any chance he has to talk about, he's going to talk about it. Um, he can be dry, and then when he sees you start pulling away, he's going to reel you back in by caressing you and stroking your ego. Yeah, baby, that, he just he just wants to pop something. And don't let him do none of that. Walk him like a dog. Relationship advice as a middle schooler. Baby, you don't need to be in no relationship. <laughs> because if you're six, seven, eight, nine times out of 10, you're not even going to really be in that relationship later on. But middle school, I would really advise you to really have fun. Like you're fresh out of elementary, well, sixth grade wise. Um, just continue to find yourself. Figure out what you like to do. Pay attention to them friends. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got friends that you know low key kind of be trying to be fast and be grown. You probably got to stay away from them if you want to take a different route in life. Pay attention to who you're friends with. But I want to take middle school too serious just because like it's middle school. You know what I'm saying? High school. That's a different story. Like I say eighth grade freshman. That's when you know what I'm saying? Start figuring out who you are as a person and what you want to be what do you want to do and how do you see yourself at 21 years old you know what i'm saying that's when because middle school is low-key kind of like elementary you know what i'm saying when i was an elementary person when i was in fifth grade teachers used to tell me middle school is going to be harder middle school is going to be harder no it's not i passed what are we talking about next question is do you have a boyfriend if so why and if not why not um, no, I do not have a boyfriend because boyfriends are a distraction. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> um, well, they can be a distraction. Not all of them. Me, I'm like so tunnel vision on getting to where I need to be. I want to achieve some things before I can give you my all. You know what I'm saying? All of my attention. Because right now, my attention needs to be on this. 
you know what I'm saying? Helping my girls grow, giving my girls the best raw tips and just keep being that influencer on people's life, an uh, impact so I can get where I need to be. I'm not really worried about boyfriend this and boyfriend that. That's too, I, it comes with too much stuff. Your girl ain't got, her head ain't wrapped all the way tight for that. You know what I'm saying? My head is not wrapped around all the way to be dealing with a boyfriend right now. Like. I got too much stuff I'm trying to juggle. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm not depressed or anxiety, no nothing. It's good stuff that I'm juggling. I just don't have no room to be like, let me put a boyfriend in here. Because if I put a boyfriend in here, it would like fall out of place. You know what I'm saying? Because it just comes with comes with too much stuff. And I don't got the time for that. And all these dudes be lying and dudes be liars nowadays, they don't lows nowadays, don't just ugh. No, I don't get time for none of that. Next question is, where do you see yourself in three years? Three years, I see myself very successful in YouTube. Um, I wanna be far in wig promotions, like getting wigs like almost like every day type of stuff. Um, just doing promotions all the time, paid promotions all the time. Um, I wanna, by three years, I wanna be able to pay off my Honda Accord 2021 Sports Sunny Gray. I just wanna be that girl in three years. I don't know y'all, I really don't know. I wanna have my own house too. Like, hopefully before three years, but I do wanna have my own crib. Hopefully I can be in like somewhere in Atlanta, if not Atlanta, Houston. I wanna get away from my city. I'm from Portland and I do not want to be here anymore but yeah y'all that was all the questions that we had for the girl talk q a make sure you follow my instagram pretty soon i don't know when probably this week or next week i want to do a q a about myself so y'all can really get to know me because i really don't have a q a on here and i think it's time for you guys to know me you know what i'm saying i think it's time for you guys to be let in you know what i'm saying because it's only right because y'all is my girls and for y'all to be my girls y'all gotta know about your girl <laughs> Yeah, so make sure you go follow my social medias. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay true to yourself. And don't worry about nobody but yourself. And remember, in this race, you're racing to the higher version of yourself. You're not racing to nothing but you. Don't look at nobody as competition. Look at yourself as competition. Okay? Love y'all. Stay blessed. And out the freaking mess.